All right, guys. Y'all know I can't make this stuff up. I can't. Um, Wednesday, apparently. Good old KP8, Mr. Kenny Pickett. Was doing, you know, what he always does, being a rock star at life. Going around, <clears throat> had his little uh, radio interview he was doing at a car dealership, local dealership, right? No biggie, no biggie. And just like any other responsible NFL player, he had his playbook with him. Respect the moon, though. I like it. He trying to make that year two jump. We know what we talking about, man, because he knows we got to go far this year. Playoffs. And he's in the driver's seat. So he's doing his due diligence and all that good stuff. But to find out, he got his car stolen and the playbook in the car while he was at this radio interview. Man, this is absolutely insane. But wait, there is war. So about 30 minutes later, the police, the dealership, they're all doing their due diligence and using all their resources and ultimately find Kenny's car, the stolen vehicle. And it's parked at the house of the gentleman that stole Kenny's car. And there's more. There's more. The guy had left his car at the dealership so they could track him that way. Then on top of that, it was a 60-year-old man. I can't make this up. 60 years old, baby. All right. So it's a lot of questions here, right? A lot of questions. A lot of questions. Well, number one, why the heck did you take his car, man? All right, I get it. It's Kenny Pickett. So it probably would have been a fun little prank. Ah, I got his car cottage. Cool, cool, cool. You had to be trying to get caught, though, for you to park it at your house. I agree with that one. But the playbook. You had a chance to get eyes on that thing. The most covenant thing in all of Pittsburgh right now is Mad Canada's playbook. Oh, baby! We've all been trying to see this thing. And you mean to tell me a 60-year-old from Murraysville got a chance to see this before me? Fill some type of way, fill some type of way. But at least the guy's from Pittsburgh and he wasn't from New England. Well, or didn't know Belichick anybody like that because you never know, right? You never know. And still, I might want to check his uh, family tree because it might be some type of connection. You know how they do. But either way, this is just craziness, man. Shout out to Kenny, though. Like we said, man, huh, he can't win. <laughs> It's always something with him, always something, man. But love it, love it, love it the way that he handles this adversity. Cool, calm, and collected with the hair flow like always, baby. But the playbook has been returned, and Kenny's car has been returned. So, all is well in the neighborhood. But you guys let me know your thoughts on uh, this crazy situation. Like I said, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. <laughs> it's just like, what is going on, baby? But either way, y'all stay safe out there. Lock your car, your car doors. And if you see any playbooks laying around, please don't touch them, all right? But either way, it's all love. And until next time, baby, peace.